hope you are doing well, I'm Danny. In a previous video, I shared 8 facts of the pros and cons of dropshipping with those who are about to set up a dropshipping business for evaluation. As you guys have known about the benefits and shortcomings and are ready to set a valid business, I'd like to share the steps to build a successful online dropshipping business. In the model of dropshipping, you do not need to invest tens of thousands of dollars in the beginning, while the operational costs and time spent are much lower compared to traditional retail business. Nevertheless, if you want to build a successful dropshipping business, which will make you a millionaire while leaving you little chicken matters, there are a lot of preparations to do. It is better to take the preparation work seriously, which could be a critical step to make or break your business. Generally speaking, there are 7 steps which can be skipped and require an immense amount of hard work for building a job shaping business. Niche selection is a vital step to make a successful job shaping business. It is so important that it requires a lot of effort and time to do the research, comparing and making a decision. It may take tons of work to successfully scale a dropshipping business, so it is better to pick a niche that is both profitable and genuine interest to you. If you aren't passionate about the niche you select, you will be more apt to becoming discouraged and a niche that isn't focused will be hard to market. Apart from the subjective factor, there are many practical points to consider. We have posted 4 videos of the tips for niche or product selection, check this playlist for more information. Here's a summary of practical tips for you when selecting your niche. The margin could vary according to different niches. It is better searching for bargains that can be sold at a high price. It's not wise to sell high value products. The total cost existing in 50 bucks, for example. Because the margin could be limited, and if you advertise for the product, the return period could be long because consumers will think twice before buying an expensive item. It is also not a good choice to sell low value products, um, some kind lower than 5 bucks, because the profit is too low. That you can only make 100 bucks when you sold 100 pieces. While the amount of work required is essentially the same as it would be to sell a 20 bucks item. Use Google's keyword planner and chance to check some common search terms related to your potential niche. Check how many searches and if your interest is on the upward trend. Shipping cost is an important part of total cost. Too much shipping cost will limit your profit margin. Find something inexpensive to ship as it gives you the option of offering free shipping to your customers and observing that cost as a business expense to attract more sales. And fragile items that are better to avoid. Or you may face a high risk of item damage during processing and delivery. And the result is that you would spend lots of time dealing with complaints and returns. Pick something that people hardly see at offline stores. In this way, your products become more attractive to a potential customer in spite of additional shipping costs. There is a hidden trap in which a lot of potential dropshippers may fall into. Many startups are looking for a product that has little to no competition. That could be a sign there is no demand for that product unless it is novel and can solve a practical problem. Two fears, competition is also not a good choice. 
Because if you select a niche that is too overcrowded, you will have a hard time surviving. In the previous video, I recommended the website ecompound.com for product analysis. There is information about how many stores are selling product and the current Facebook ads running. You can have a comprehensive evaluation of a specific product. And another method is checking the orders on Amazon and AliExpress, recording how many sellers are selling product and seeing if there are recent orders. If yes, there could be room for marketing. Once the niche decided, the next step is to find a reliable supplier or suppliers. Most of dropshipping suppliers are located in China, so the first problem you will meet is language barriers. Contact with the suppliers and make sure you can understand each other. Ask more questions as you can to have a full picture of your suppliers. Um, for example, their production capabilities, response speed, and the quality of service, etc and questions related to scaling your business. Or there is an easier and labor simple way to cooperate with an agent company who can source and handle all the orders for you. In this way, you can spend all of your time and energy on marketing and scaling up your business. CJ Dropshipping is such a company providing a one-stop service for tens of thousands of entrepreneurs. And the product costs there are usually lower than sourcing from AliExpress. For more information, you can visit cjjobshipping.com or chat with a private agent via chat.cjjobshipping.com. Although dropshipping lets you have minimal involvement with handling your overall product catalog, it is better to set a set of money as well as a little bit of time to test out the products you plan to sell. If you don't, you risk listing a product with too many shortcomings or defects, which will result in unhappy customers and a lot of time spent on dealing with returns. Another merit to place a test order is that you can have a complete evaluation of the fulfillment of service and delivery time. The fastest way to launch a website that supports a dropshipping business model is to use a simple e-commerce platform such as Shopify, WooCommerce, and so on. Take Shopify for example, by using which you'll be able to effortlessly sync with the many marketplaces to source products, and you'll get access to the full selection of themes and free branding tools so you can get your business up and running quickly. And a store with your own domain name will help in building trust with customers. There are several top level domains available, uh, such as .shop or .com. Generally speaking, a .com that fits your brand is a better choice if there is one available. Every e commerce business should look for a way to reduce their average cost to acquire a customer through organic channels like content marketing, SEO, and word of mouth. But get started! Advertising is usually an essential channel for most product-based business. The most common channels include searching engine marketing, displaying ads, social media ads, and mobile ads. For an online dropshipping business, the most effective option is to start a Facebook ad campaign. By running Facebook ads, you can place your offer directly in front of a highly targeted audience, which allows you to generate sales and revenue right from the start. It is an easy way to quickly scale. It is better to think long term, so searching engine optimization and email marketing should also be taken into consideration. Collect the emails from the start and set up automated email sequences that offer discounts and special offers. It's an easy way to leverage your existing customer base and generate revenue without additional advertising and marketing spend. No one will doubt that branding is one of the most important aspects of any business. 
large or small retail of BGB job shaping be no exception. An effective brand strategy gives you a major edge in increasingly competitive markets. Your brand differentiates your products and services from other competitors, makes people know you and wins you trust and revenues. Having a domain is the very first step to build your brand. Then it's about looking for product online you can white label and sell as your own brand with custom packaging even if you are not planning to set up a brand at the beginning of your business. It is better to take it into long-term consideration because by running ads, you can draw traffic and convert into orders in the short term. But to have a sustainable business and grow up steadily, you need to be driven by widely publicity and word of mouth. And the promise of this is a brand of your own. Those are the 7 steps to set up a successful job shaping business. But it's just the beginning of running an e-commerce business in the long term. After setting up, there are still tons of analysis and optimization to do if you want to grow the business. This includes Google Analytics, Traffic, and Facebook Conversion Pix data if that is your main customer acquisition channel, where you can check every single conversion to know where the customer originated from and what page they took on your website that eventually lead to a sale. It enables you to scale what works and eliminate what doesn't. Running a job shaping business is not just to build an online store and starting making money through luck. You need to invest time, effort, and money to scale up your business if you want to be a successful entrepreneur making six-figure money. That's all for today's video. Do not forget to subscribe us and give us a like if you think we were doing a great job. For more job shaping courses, please check out the playlist on our channel. Did you meet any problems when starting your business? Share your experience with us on the comment. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon at the next video.